this brace, I moved that stake so this brace would be long enough since I already had it out here. What I'm gonna do is take a shovel and dig a little bit right here so that brace will be a setting down. And like I did it, and uh, it won't slide off of the stake because we've got a pretty good taper on that stake. And it could kick off when we stretch a wire. And boy, that old fescue grass has some wicked roots on it. I laid my chain down somewhere. It may have fell out of my box on the way around. I'll, I'll go. have to go find it in a minute. I'll go look for it. Right, so we're going to put this brace in. Do you need the chain before you put the brace in? Safety glasses and gloves are must. And earplugs too, but I just don't happen to have any. I took them all to Aaron when he had the saw one. And we <laughs> I cut it too short. That's what I was wondering because you're getting ready to pull that post out. I did. Yeah. Well, just go get you another one. I'll look for your chain while you're doing that. I'll cut one over here somewhere. <laughs> easier than driving that wood stake. <laughs> I'm sure it was. Now I gotta go around here and find me a piece of something to make a brace out of. So we're gonna take a little break until I get back. I'm not gonna bore you with wandering around on the farm. He's scouting out of a brace. I guess it's a locust. I don't know. He worries me. Aw. Taking that little limb away from its parent tree just seems really kind of cool. Little bitty brace, but I guess it's tough enough. Here's 
Here we go again. <laughs> Chainsaws are not my friend. I guess you can tell that by my comments. Of course, yeah. bulls are not my friend. Uh, all right, I just went over and cut a piece out of a scrub maple. Oh, it's a maple tree. It wasn't a locust. And, uh, this fence for now sometime this year I'm going to tear it all the way down put in all new stakes the wire is great so we won't have to replace the wire that's a good thing about gaucho wire yeah he's a gaucho wire commercial but that is an old old fence right there it does need to be replaced you can see all the all the nails in this one one corner piece. I don't know what the heck all that's about, but it's actually pretty funny. That's some big old wood nails too. All so I'm going to try to as soon as I drive a nail, it will drive that maple limb down and tighten it up. Now the one, the one that I took out, from there right here, I'm going to use it right here. Get rid of these old nails because that's just something for me to get hung on. I'll have to go get a crowbar. Those are tight. But for now, I'll just bend them down. Sounds like so a plan. I don't get fouled up on them. That's a much better solution to me. Yep, they're tired. Yeah. That'll be done at a later date. They're attached to their log. Just leave them. <laughs> Just leave and, uh, them. There's everybody there always wonders why farmers wire overalls. Well, I'm going to give you my explanation. Now, I don't wire them all the time, but I do wire them in the winter. In the summertime, they're very hot. But you got a hammer hole a place for pliers and one of them old wooden six foot rules right here and you got a place for a pocket watch before cell phones which i carry up there you had a place for a pocket watch and you had a place for pencils carpenters wore them a lot because of the pockets be still a minute and farmers did too be still a minute i'm trying to get a picture of and that's what happens with barbed that's bar bob wire <laughs> and that's bob wire yeah. So I wire a pair of overalls until they're about threadbare because they're rather expensive. But I like them especially in the winter time. Alright, let's see if I can make this one fit without cutting it too. Uh Need my shovel, need to dig a hole, get me an accurate measurement. But these braces will make this fence take, stay back straight and it'll make it a lot easier to stretch the wire because the stakes won't move. You probably can't hear them with me behind them. And it don't take much of a hole, just a little divot. All right, the wind has picked up and the shirt has to go back on. <laughs> it gets cold easily.
I'm getting out of the way. All right, let's see what happens now. I'll hide behind the massive. You got to be really careful because I'm going to cut this and it's leaning against the stake. And I've got barbed wire everywhere, so. <laughs> There you go. No harm, no foul. And I need a little more angle on it, so I'm gonna lay it across the chain here. Put your foot right there, Patty. I'll do it. All right, here we go again. <laughs> Yeah, sometimes chainsaws worry me. That'll do. Alright, good. It ain't perfect, but it will do. I'll get some nails in there and it'll go. If you see the places that have a farmer's hands are often uh, it turn your guts inside out and he would be in heavy equipment he's always said that he's one of the few heavy equipment mechanics he knows that's actually got all ten of his fingers that's just a, a lovely thought right and locusts work very hard and I never was the greatest at driving a nail anyhow. That's why I bought a nail gun a while back. <laughs> yeah, we, we like our, our power tools. Yay. All right, let's let get loose of the tractor and see how the stakes are sitting. If you want to pull it forward just a bit, I'll un unhook it. UPS is going up the road, and our dogs always let us know. All right, we'll make the voyage around the fence. My hands are getting cold, y'all took my gloves off which wasn't very bright but there you go it's pretty chilly here this morning that one don't read stretched it's plenty tall western North Carolina mid-February is pretty unpredictable and this morning we're probably what here about 35 about, about 35 degrees right now it was 41 when we come outside I think the temperature's but dropped. The temperature is supposed <laughs> to fall all day. It has about 20 degrees. <laughs> Teasing. All right, let's see what he's gonna do. Really, for February, it's a pretty nice morning in Southern Appalachia. Uh oh, that fell out here. Which side? Uh, over there by your your hammer, I think. I heard it hit metal. It may have hit it Behind, right. right there, on the other side of your hammer. Okay. There you go. That one don't need stretched. This one does.
I'll clip that one in behind the brace. So what we're going to do Watch out Yep There comes UPS The dogs get so excited They don't get much company There goes UPS out, so I didn't get any more sawmill parts. Yeah. You need hold? You hold it. If you can. Oh yeah, I got it. And as tight as that wire is, you always put two staples. And if you can, if it works out to where you can, you always put one behind the bar because that'll keep it from slipping. All right, let go. All right, that's tight enough. You're gonna have to loosen it for me. Just it up and it'll come loose. There you go. But I don't know why I prefer the old Thompson stretcher, it's just other than what I'm used to. I should be back there behind, I guess, with you. That old snake's pretty soft. So it'll have to be changed when we do the total rebuild. And we may rebuild it with woven wire because we're talking about changing over from cattle to sheep. That one went down in the hole behind the stake. We're good. I am considerably slower than I used to be, but I'm 62 years old. I'll be 62 in May, I should say. And a few medical problems, but I'm still happy with what I can do. I'm good. All right, now I've got to, we're gonna be walking back and forth across this fence forever probably. Except for the wire, I'll be taking up all new stakes and everything. Of course, we'll reuse the steel stakes. So, it's not pretty, but it's an old fence and it's usable now. Now he can bring his his cattle back that. over here when it. It's pre it's pretty tight for now to be with old rotten stakes. Not as tight as a banjo string and, by uh, any means. <laughs> But you see well, that's his what hands. happens when you yeah. get around barbed wire. You bleed every time you get around it, whether you want to or not. Yeah. But that's okay. I'll heal. So now this film can't be PG. It's going to have to be PG-14 or whatever. With all that blood. But, uh, my dad had a saying, if you're afraid of mice in a finger, don't never pick up a hammer. And that's I'm inclined truth. to agree with him. If you don't want to get cut, don't never get around barbed wire. Of any kind. Yeah, well... I would agree with that too, and I'd definitely stay away from the barbed wire, but somehow I always and end up I don't up think you can stand to build a barbed wire fence in a chain mail suit. <laughs> be a little hot, a little heavy. Of course, today hot would be good. All right, folks. Let's this see. is all we'll do today because uh, I've let myself run out of staples. 
Yeah, and that's a good thing. Well, I haven't done any fencing work since last year, and I didn't put the inventory anytime soon. So tractor supply is in our future. Oh well. But an old bumper is a great place to hang a chain. But this is tight enough for now. It'll turn a cow. It may not turn nothing else, but it'll turn a cow. And that's all we're interested in for now. And I'm rescuing. <clears throat> I'm I'm rescuing the driftwood. He can't use that as a table saw or chainsaw standard any longer. I guess eventually it will go over into my herb garden. Because Hugh's mom collected that many, 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 many years ago on one of their trips to the Outer Banks. But uh, anyway, y'all, have a wonderful week, and we'll see you next time Aaron lets us gab on his channel. Bye-bye.